thanks. Vitamins and supplements, little nuggets of natural goodness that will keep us in tip-top condition and prevent or even cure some of our most deadly diseases. Right? Wrong. There are lots of vitamins and mineral supplements that you can go out to health shops and buy and people assume that because they're vitamins they must be good for you. Unfortunately, just because you can buy them over the counter doesn't necessarily mean they're safe or healthy. Yes, we scoff them by the bucket load, but shockingly research shows that some of these so-called wonder drugs may be doing us more harm than good. There are some vitamins uh, that you take that can become toxic if you consume them at high enough levels. Something like vitamin A is stored in the fat of your body, so you can actually overdose on vitamin A supplementation. And if you thought that swallowing vitamin C tablets can help shift your stinking cold, think again. High doses of it will actually give you stomach upset and diarrhea, and majority of it you end up weeing out anyway. Still, in Britain alone, people hand over more than £300 million a year to health food shops and supermarkets for these magic pills. But do the people who are taking our money even know what they're flogging? If you went to your GP, your GP would look at your medical history, they would recommend certain pills you may need to, to deal with a particular ailment. When you go into a health food shop, you just talk to a shop assistant and they'll give you bottles of pills and they've got no medical qualification, they know nothing about your medical history and you really don't know what you're taking into your body either. And for most of us, it's all just a massive waste of cash anyway. Most health experts will tell you that if you've got a fairly balanced diet, you really don't need to be taking on supplements, especially in the West, where we're not necessarily deficient of the major nutrients that we need in our body. Now.